What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video, unfortunately we have some bad news to cover. So before we get into the bad news, if you would do me a favor, hit the like, hit the subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll jump right into it. So what's the bad news? Well, I got multiple things unfortunately, and the first one is if you watched Rabid Mining's 4090 hash rate video, you might have noticed that he was warning people don't put your 3000 series GPUs in with your 4000 series GPUs because you have to update to the latest drivers in order to use the 4000 series cards. And that would enable LHR on all of your LHR cards again. Uh, we did discover that that was in fact not true and that LHR is disabled with the new drivers. So yay, that's some great news. But I don't know if anybody else noticed this, we no longer have memory temps on our GDDR6X cards. And to top it off, I didn't gain any hash rate by updating to the latest drivers. So I did go ahead and try it. And I wanna show you apples to apples comparison here. So in a previous video, I was testing dual mining Ergo and Caspa. And I, I've reenacted exactly what was in that video. So I, this was prior to me really dialing in the overclocks here. And we were running these 3070 Ti's at a 210 watt power limit, 150 core, 810 on the memory. And just take a look at these hash rates here. So the first card, 138 mega hash on Ergo, 276, almost 277 mega hash on Caspa. Now, if we go take a look at the video that I posted a couple of weeks ago, uh, we can see, yeah, 138 mega hash, 277 mega hash, exact same overclocks, exact same power limits. And so we didn't gain anything by updating to the latest drivers on Ergo, which is one of the algorithms that we are LHR'd on, right? So we know for sure a 3070 Ti is LHR. All of them always were, always have been. Now, you may gain a little bit of hash rate if you're mining strictly Ergo or strictly ETHW or ETC, but from my tests so far, comparing apples to apples, we did not increase our hash rate on dual mining, and to top it off, we lost our ability to see memory temps. So I'll be rolling back my drivers, and I won't be using this until Everybody else gets on top of it. We get some developers to take a look at it and we get our memory temps back in Hive OS. So uh, you'll notice that these overclocks are very inefficient and I'm gonna go ahead and adjust these overclocks and we'll let that settle in for a little while and we'll come back to this here in just a moment. So we're gonna set the core to 250. We're gonna increase the memory to 2600 and we're gonna drop this power limit down to 190 and we'll see where we land with that. And let's move on to the other bad news. So I was listening to Son of a Tech, or you may know him as Blind Run, or Matthew, or Matt. Um, but of course, things have been very difficult in this bear market, and his next video is entitled Last Crypto Mining Show. And you may be watching this video after you catch his show, and you may already be aware of this news, but in case you have not seen this, it does look like Son of a Tech is no longer going to be making content on the YouTube channel. Perhaps this means specifically for the morning show. Uh, maybe he will continue to make content on YouTube, just not a daily morning show. I'm sure he'll clarify in this video tomorrow. I'm recording this on Sunday evening. Uh, so we'll all know together perhaps tomorrow, unless you have not seen his video yet. But I just want to take the time to tell Matthew, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, man, I really mean that. Like, I would not be where I am today. And I know many of you out there have relied very heavily on Son of a Tech over the years. This guy is an asset to the space. And honestly, I just can't imagine being in the space without him. And I, I really appreciate, Matthew, for everything that you've done, brother. Thank you for all of your help. Thank you for all the tutorial videos. And please go to his channel. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Leave some positive words of encouragement. Put Take take one of his playlists and just let it play, man. Let, let's do what we can to help the guy out. He's done so much for us. 
And with that being said, guys, if you also would hit the like, hit the subscribe here, much appreciated. I will be here with you through the bear market and the next bull run. So I will see you guys on the next video. I'm out.